Once your baby is born, your baby will be placed skin to skin with you. If your baby requires assistance following the birth, he or she will be taken over to the infant care centre and assessed by the medical team. It is encouraged to keep your baby skin to skin with you for the first hour after birth or until the baby has completed their first breastfeed. Skin to skin care can also be provided by your partner should you be unable to do so. Your baby's assessment and weight will be done in the room. Your baby will also be given an identification bracelet that matches the bracelet you and your partner will be given when you are admitted. These bracelets should remain on during your entire stay at the hospital. They will be removed by your nurse once you are discharged. Within the first few hours of life, your baby will receive a vitamin K injection and eye ointment. If you have questions about these medications, you can talk to your physician, midwife or nurse. Sometimes a baby will need to be born by cesarean birth or C-section. If you are having a C-section, you will have your baby in our operating room in the birth center. On busy days, you may go to a regular operating room and come back to the birth center after you have delivered your baby. During your C-section, you will be encouraged to have one support person with you. Additional visitors can wait in our waiting area. Your nurse will remain with you during the C-section. Every effort will be made to keep your baby with you during the operation. If able, we will place the baby skin to skin with you in the operating room. The NICU is for babies born early and underweight or with some health problems that will require extra attention. The NICU is located on the same unit as the birth centre. Parents are part of the care team and are encouraged to be with their baby anytime. Grandparents and older siblings of the baby are encouraged to visit in the NICU when accompanied by the parents of the baby. Visiting hours for these family members are between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. The nurse will be providing lots of information about the care of your body and your baby. This information can be overwhelming. Taking prenatal classes and reading baby's best chance prior to your baby being born will help make it all more manageable. After the first two hours of your baby's life, you and your baby will no longer require one-to-one -one care from a nurse. Your nurse will still be available when you need help with breastfeeding or if you have questions regarding the care of your newborn. The nurse will provide you with pain medications to help with any discomfort you are having after the baby is born. These medications are included in the Maternity Self-Medication Program. The nurse will review this program with you. You will be given a form to fill out while in hospital. You will be recording your baby's wet and dirty diapers, pees and poos, and feeding. Please keep this form up to date. You will be given a copy of this form when you are discharged home. You will be encouraged and assisted to begin breastfeeding your baby soon after birth. Your nurse will encourage you to keep your baby skin to skin until your baby has completed the first breastfeed. Be patient in these first few days as you and your baby establish a feeding routine. Skin to skin contact with your baby is an important part of your early care plan. Learning all you can about breastfeeding before your baby is born will make breastfeeding your new baby easier. Information about breastfeeding is available on the HealthLinks BC website. Richmond Public Health also offers breastfeeding clinics by appointments, individually or in group settings. Breastfeeding support for new and expecting mums is also available through La Leche League Canada. Please see the website for details. The usual length of stay after birth vaginally is 24 hours and 48 hours after cesarean birth. Your body is recovering from the hard work of labour and birth. It is important to try and nap whenever possible as you cannot count on baby sleeping very long. The birth of your baby is a time of celebration. Families and friends will want to visit, however, they may forget that you have not slept and are also learning about how to care for your baby. Let them know when they can visit and what they can do to help you rest.